The night before he died, Jesus went with his friends to a garden outside the city. He said to his friends, I am afraid. My enemies are trying to hurt me. Please wait here while I pray and pray with me. Jesus was filled with fear and sorrow. He knelt down and spoke to God. Father, I know that you love me and that you can do anything. I don't want to suffer this pain, but I will do whatever you want me to do. When he went back to his friends, they weren't praying. They were asleep. Jesus woke them and said to them, stay awake. Now Judas was also one of his friends, but he turned against Jesus. He went to the leaders who wanted to kill Jesus and said to them, I know where Jesus is. Pay me and I will take you to him. So they gave Judas 30 pieces of silver and he led them to the garden where Jesus was. The leaders arrested Jesus in the garden and took him to Pilate, who was a ruler of that area. Even though Jesus did so many wonderful things, some people hated him. They told lies about him and told Pilate that they wanted Jesus to be killed. Pilate found Jesus innocent, so he said to the crowds, I will let the soldiers with him, and then I will let him go. The soldiers led Jesus away. They put a purple cloak on him, just like a king would wear. Then they twisted a vine with thorns into the shape of a crown and put it on his head, made fun of him. They knelt in front of him, pretending he was a king. Then they slapped him in the face and spat on him. Jesus is condemned to die. The soldiers brought Jesus back to Pilate. Pilate said to the people, This man, Jesus, has done nothing wrong. I am going to let him go. But the people yelled, Kill him, kill him. Pilate asked them why, but they only screamed louder, Crucify him, crucify him. Pilate wanted to let Jesus go. He knew that Jesus was innocent, but he was afraid of the crowd. He said to them, I find nothing wrong with in Jesus. If you want him killed, take him yourself and crucify him. And he gave Jesus over to be crucified. Jesus carries the cross. After Pilate turned Jesus over to the crowds, they grabbed him roughly and led him away. They made a cross and forced Jesus to carry it. He began to walk the long road uphill, carrying his cross on his shoulders. Simon helps Jesus to carry his cross. The soldiers took Jesus out of Jerusalem and they began to lead him to the hill where they were going to crucify him. As they went, they saw a man named Simon. Simon was coming into the city from the fields. One of the soldiers grabbed him and made him carry the cross for Jesus. A great crowd of people followed Jesus as he walked to Golgotha. Many who were following were women from Jerusalem. They were crying because Jesus was suffering. Jesus stopped and turned to these women and said, Women of Jerusalem, don't cry because you see me suffer. My pain is great, but it will be more painful for you and for your children. If they want to kill me, even though I have done nothing wrong, what will they do when I am gone? When they came to Golgotha, the soldiers tore off his clothes so they could crucify him. They tore off his clothes into pieces so each soldier could have something. They took his tunic, but they did not tear it. It was a special tunic, beautifully made. They rolled the dice to see who would get it. Finally, they nailed Jesus to the cross. As they were nailing his hands and his feet, Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing.
two criminals were crucified with Jesus, one on his left and one on his right. One of the criminals insulted Jesus like everyone else. He shouted, aren't you supposed to be the savior? Why don't you save yourself and us too? The other criminal, however, scolded him saying, don't you have any respect for God? We deserve to be punished because we are guilty. But this man is innocent. He does not deserve to die. They looked at Jesus and said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus answered him, I promise you, this very day, you will be with me in paradise. Jesus carries his cross. While Jesus was hanging on the cross, his mother, Mary, and his disciple, John, were there. They never left Jesus. Some of the women who were his friends also stayed looking on. At about noon, everything became very dark. It stayed dark for three hours. Then Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Father, I put my life in your hands. He breathed one last time and then he died. A soldier pierces the side of Jesus. The crowd did not want the bodies of Jesus and the two criminals to be on their crosses on the Sabbath day. So they went to Pilate and asked that they could break their legs so that they would die more quickly. After getting Pilate's permission, the soldiers broke the legs of the two criminals. But when they came to Jesus, they saw that he was already dead. They did not break his legs, but one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear. Jesus laid in a tomb. A man named Joseph asked Pilate if he could bury the body of Jesus. Joseph was a good man, one of Jesus' disciples. Pilate gave him permission, so Joseph took Jesus off the cross. He wrapped him in a clean white cloth with special oils and spices. Nearby, there was a tomb. That is where they buried Jesus. Before they left, they rolled a large stone in the front of the entrance to the tomb.